in this universe and playing in Warner Brothers sandbox and building a Justice League of America movie and hand the keys over to Snyder figuring that he's done as much work as he has up to this point and he should just continue it. I think that's a bad idea. Ready? This may be a little excessive, but make of it what you will. We'll be covering a little bit more details about Superman and the James Gunn incident, as well as some grifters. I think it's fair to call them grifters. If you do a Super 180 like Sean did, hating Zack Snyder and suddenly embracing him and doing a book on him, trying to make money off of it, and then simultaneously working with Warner Brothers to backstab him and Ray Fisher, yeah, I'd say you're a grifter. But not to be churlish with the hatred. Josh has also been a little bit grifty with James Gunn. But let's get into the good Superman news that Superman literally has celebrated an anniversary. It is the anniversary of the Donner Cut. For those not aware, Superman has gone through many iterations, including in film. But I think most fans would say it's a huge landmark what Richard Donner did in the 1970s with Christopher Reeves. I watched it as a kid. I loved it. I thought it was amazing. But I do think, suffice to say, Richard Donner has left his mark not just with Superman, but with the superhero genre. He's also behind the X-Men films. People don't know that. So he's had his hand in the superhero mythologies for quite some time. I do appreciate what Christopher Reeve did. I loved him in Smallville as well when he did a cameo. I'm one of the few people apparently that liked Superman 3 for a long time. I didn't realize it was a quote evil bad movie. Still think it's pretty respectable. Superman 4, of course, is a little dicey. So on the whole, I have appreciated the Superman mythology and I've done a lot of serious research into it. I'm a more of a hardcore Spider-Man person. I drifted into the Superman comics later. And that's where I stand. And to be consistent, I would agree that there are genuine criticisms you can have of the Zack Snyder interpretation. I don't believe the lazy criticisms of Zack Snyder and what he did with Superman and Henry Cavill. On the whole, I thought it was pretty good, pretty strong. But you can have genuine, legit criticisms of the way he framed certain story choices, certain key scenes. Of course, everyone makes fun of the Martha moment. I don't hate Martha as much as everyone else, but I can see why people make fun of it a lot. On the whole, I think he gave us a pretty solid Superman. Overall, the story was very strong, and his trilogy with Man of Steel, BVS, and culminating in the Snyder Cut. And I'll be, again, totally honest, I came late to the party with the Snyder Cut because fooled by the very skewed news reports saying Zack Snyder was a crazy clown man who kept putting out these weirdo photos of something that would never happen. And then he humbled everyone with an amazing Snyder cut, which, to be fair, Josh praised, and he thought it was also very, very good. So on the hierarchy of grifting, Sean is in a whole other category in terms of saying he likes Superman, but just hates Zack Snyder. He likes Henry Cavill. He likes Ben Affleck but just thinks that uh, Zack Snyder doesn't understand these people, doesn't understand these mythologies, even though he cast these actors. Interesting paradox that the same people that hate Snyder love his casting choices. Okay, he can have his opinion, but then suddenly he turned out of nowhere, despite loving the MCU, Kevin Feige, and thinking Infinity War and Endgame are some of the best films of all time. Yes, he actually says those things. Suddenly he changed his mind and said, no, we need Zack Snyder. We need the Snyder Cut now more than ever. And I think a lot of naive Snyder fans welcomed him into the Snyder Cut fandom. And he betrayed us again and backstabbed Ray Fisher, apparently working with Joss Whedon and Walter Hamada. I do like Ray Fisher. I respect what he did with Snyder Cut. I do think he's a talented performer. But I am skeptical of some of the charges he's made. But overall, I think he's trustworthy. So if he tells me Sean is lying to us, yeah, Sean is lying to us. And of course, the more recently, he said, R.I.P. Snyderverse. Yeah, he's a grifter, a liar, a con artist, and apparently a racist, too. So, there we are. But I can't deny he's a Superman fan. What I will be denying is he's a very intelligent Superman fan. I just don't think he's done a lot of research. And that gets us into Josh and his recent ridiculous incident with James Gunn, where he, for no reason, like Sean, posited a conspiracy theory where, you know, secretly... I don't think Zack Snyder likes Superman. I think he secretly hates Henry Cavill. And apparently it's spreading from Sean to Josh because suddenly he thought 
I, I don't think James likes Henry Cavill. I, I don't think he likes Superman. I don't think he understands Superman. Despite consistently tweeting things with Superman and promising big plans with Superman, he even on the same day that Josh posited this conspiracy of Henry versus James Gunn, James Gunn tweeted something positive about the Superman anniversary and said, don't you worry, Superman's a priority. He's one of the biggest priorities. And somehow Josh didn't do any homework and tweeted out this insane conspiracy theory. And he got bitch slapped by James Gunn himself and said, uh, yeah, I think you got it all wrong. And instead of just accepting the L, which to be fair, later he did say, yeah, I don't think I handled this pretty well. He kept going and said, um, well, my sources are telling me. And then James Gunn said, well, your sources are wrong. And my guest, Mr. Sean O'Connell, what is up, sir? Do you know what one of my favorite things nowadays is? Go fuck yourself. Now is James Gunn, like Ray Fisher, talented, but perhaps flawed? Yes, and perhaps they're not telling the whole truth? Probably also yes. But do they have a track record of being more trustworthy? Yes. It's a very strange anniversary, and the Donner films are nothing to be scoffed at. They're very legendary, powerful films. And I do think they should be celebrated. But it is a very weird thing with the quote, Superman fandom in particular and the DC fandom as a whole that it has been getting steadily more grifter friendly. I don't know if that's just an unfortunate sign of the times or that just these specific people think that the Superman fandom is, I don't know, more vulnerable or more open to the grifting. But I don't have much hope for Sean, but we'll wait and see if Josh reforms himself. And he actually takes to heart the actual values of the Superman mythology. We'll have to wait and see. It's a very curious anniversary of Superman, and I feel happy for the Superman fans. And I do think James will do something very interesting with Superman. I wish it was closer to the Snyderverse, but that's me. But happy anniversary, Superman. But for the Superman fandom, maybe some uh, very trying days ahead. It's about that. You know, you've been on the, the, the vodka stream before. I was in the right place at the right time about that you know you've been on the 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 vodka stream before i was in the right place at the right time it's about that you know you've been on the 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 vodka stream before i was in the right place at the right time